Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the rotate list problem. Given a linked list, rotate the list to the right by k places where k is non negative. So, as you can see, here they give you two examples. Example 1, this is the linked list, and k equals 2. So, after rotating this list by 2, this is the output. You can see the explanation here. When you rotate the list one time, you can see that the 5 becomes the new head. And then when you rotate the list again, you can see the 4 becomes the new head. And it is connected to the rest of the list. So this is the second example, and k equals 4, and this is the result. So how can we solve this problem? The brute force solution would be to rotate the list by one node k times. You rotate the list k times by one node to the right, but the time complexity would be big O of kn, or big O of k times n. Can we do better? Yes, we can do better. If we have a pointer, we can, for example, find the tail of the list. And at the same time, we can also find the length of the list. Then we can connect the tail to the head. So we make a cycle connecting the tail to the head. And then when we shift to the right, notice that the original head, the one here, for example, is going to become the kth node in the output. So in this case, k equals 2, when you shift to the right by 2, when you rotate to the right by 2, you see that it goes 1, 2, so it becomes the kth node in the output. Position 0, 1, and 2. So what does that mean? That means that the new head is going to be at position n minus k, where n is the length of the list. So in this case, the length is 5, n equals 5. So the new head is going to be n minus k. That means 5 minus 2, 3. So 0, 1, 2, 3. As you can see, this is the new head. So we can find the new head by calculating the length of the list and then subtracting k from the length of the list. And that's going to give us the new head. In this case, it's 5 minus 2, which is 3. 0, 1, 2, and 3. So 4 is the new head. And the new tail is right before the new head, which is 3. So that's what we're going to do. First, we find the length, make a cycle, and find the new tail and the new head. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. And the time complexity for this solution is going to be big O of n, where n is the number of nodes in the list. So first, if the head equals equals null, if the list is empty, just return null. Then, I want to find the length of the list. I'm going to call the length n, integer n, gets a value of 1, and the tail, pointing to null, tail, points to where the head is pointing to. So I start the length at 1 because I will have the following condition. I will say while tail that next is not equal to null, I will increment the length by 1 every time and then I will say tail gets the value of tail that next. So now I know the tail, the tail is pointing here at the last node and I have the length, which is 5. So what I can do now that I have the tail and the length is that I can say k modulo equals n. Why? Because if k is greater than n, then rotating by k is equivalent to rotating by k modulo n. And I can also say if k equals equals 0, just return the head. 
For instance, if the number of places that you want to rotate the list is the same as the length of the list, then k will be equal to zero. And then there's nothing to do, you just have to return the list itself. And we're done. All right. So we also need to find um, the number of steps. We can say um, integer steps to new head because the value of m minus k, as I said before, m minus k, so 5 minus 2 is 3, and that's going to be the, the steps that, that I have to go in order to find the new head. I'm going to have a pointer to node, the new tail points to what the tail is pointing to. And I will say, um, I also want to connect. I will connect tail that next points to what the head is pointing to. So I'm connecting the tail that next, connecting it to the head. So now it's not going to point to no, it's going to point to one. So I have a cycle here that way I can find the m minus k node, which is the new head. So I can say while steps to new head minus minus is greater than zero, I can say new tail because the value of new tail dot next. So as you can see, I found the new tail. So new tail is pointing at this in this, in this example here. So I just need to record the new head. So pointing to know new head points to new tail dot next. As you can see, this is new tail. So new tail dot next is a new head. And then I can break the link for the new tail. New tail dot next points to no. So as you can see, I break this link. So now this is pointing to no instead of pointing to four. And then I just return the new head. So I'm going to run the code. It seems to work fine. I'm going to submit the solution. All right, this is working perfectly. So as you can see, the time complexity is big O of n and the space complexity is big O of one because I'm only using a few extra variables. If you like the video, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.